this is the part of the show that I am most proud of because I get a chance to see my guys share their talents with you in uh, an original presentation. One of the things uh, about Color in Common is that we try to um, come up with creative ways to address our community in terms of HIV prevention messages. You know, we've been living with this virus for 30 years now. And, you know, you know people catch condoms in the street, and they show you people dying in bulletin boards, and then you see other Magic Johnson things, and you see all these different ways and messages, and we still have the highest population, people of color, black and Latino men, in between the ages of 18 and 24, still catching this virus. So this group, this group of dedicated men make me so proud every day that they come in here on their own time and try to come up with creative ways to deliver messages. So they came up with a piece tonight that they want to share with you, and I hope you enjoy it. We only have ourselves to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you would have done the same. Tell. All right, girl, so what's the tea? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> don't act so coy with us, girl. Uh -huh. You know how horrible you can be. <laughs> well. So what an apple was. Uh, <laughs> I met this fine ass man in the club last night, and of course we were both extremely shit faced. <laughs> well, he got a little horny, and on the dance floor he showed me his spatula. Ooh. You know I can't turn down a big dick man, especially when he says, I want to bake your cupcakes. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> So, you know, on his patio, got my swear on the horn, I'm dipping and popping, and of course, oh, baby, baby, I'm about to come. Can you believe he pissed on me? Mm. That is so not the feeling I was looking for. I learned that day that too much alcohol and sex is not a good mix. <clears throat> too bad I had to learn it the hard way. Mm. <coughs> but it was fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you were scandalous. Not as bad as Anthony's six, I believe it was. Six? Oh, bitch. You're welcome. You tried it. And succeeded. Exactly. So about that six. Well, it was as I found out that it was a bathhouse out here that I never been to before. Oh, really? <laughs> you don't say. Anyways, bitches, I decided I was gonna go. You know, I just need to be in the company of some men. As well as her dicks. That part. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's exactly what I did. So when I got there, I went to the second level, and there was a room full of six guys. And guess what, bitch? What? what? They were all tops. Okay. Oh, of course they were looking for one hot, juicy bottle. So I stumbled on in the room and dropped my towel and bent over. <sighs> bitch, they fucked me for the guys. Oh. Okay. Bang, bang, I will never forget. Ooh. Don't you go, Ow. So, I ended up letting them all fuck me bareback. I just wanted to hurry up and get out of there. Being fucked bareback has scared the shit out of me. And then I, now I'm sitting here standing up here shitting bricks because tomorrow I have to go get tested. And I think I may be infected. I fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> On Craigslist, I presume. Again? Mm. Of course. You know me, girl. Gotta give me some cock. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. Anyway, what about those ads? Ads? Not one, but multiple? Seven. Multiply that by ten. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, you gotta make sure I get some. You know, those flakers or those that, you know, go right super late. Just for you. Ooh, shit. Ooh, yeah. Talking from personal experience? <laughs> Don't hate. Anyways, that's why I double book, you know? God, I gotta make sure they always arrive, which that's what happened this time, because two of them. Oh my god, they were so delicious. They're cocks. Oh my god, you would not believe it. So. Delicious. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Okay. Mrs. So here's what really happened. Their cock, well, they were decent, but one of them, their cum was so gross, it made me want to vomit. But I held in it because, you know, I'm classy. And I don't know which one, but ended up getting gonorrhea. Yeah. Yeah, I was lucky that the doctor told me it wasn't, you know, the mutated version that isn't curable. Now, isn't that some real tea? That some diseases, like HIV, aren't curable. That isn't cute. Ha! We had it coming. 
We had it coming. I took a risk and it was high. And now I got it. And now I'm shameful that I don't even know his name. And now the virgin speaks. Bitch, you still ain't gave it up yet? Unbelievable. Really? <laughs> well, I had met this guy, so he, he was amazing. I kind of wrote a poem about him, and I have it, so Bitch, you let me tell poem. you. Another poem. Girl, she got it. She's your friend. Well, he was a nice young man. Met him on Jack, right? Got to the talking, flirting, and unlocking pictures like, damn, yo. I'm definitely jacking it tonight. Decide to meet up just after a few days notice. Picked me up from the bus stop. Dude even made me lunch, so now I'm like, damn, what a gentleman. Typical, let's go to the park and chill. He spoke about, uh, he spoke about, I like you type shit. I haven't had dick in a while, man. I'm just keeping it real. How about we get to know each other more? I'm feeling you and you're feeling me. I think there's something there like on some fairy tale shit. Bananas, can't wait for you to peel. We part and say goodbye, thinking about him the whole ride back. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, that sounds like a play date to me. Yeah, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's Well, the fact of the matter is, this is a real poem. I am never going to let my crew make me feel bad about my choices. I want something real, damn it, and I don't mind waiting until I get it. My first time ain't going to be in the back alley of a nightclub. I get horny just like everybody else does, but when I do it, it will be with respect for myself. And low-key, I did keep the pics. Cause shit, girl, he had one hell of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, you didn't do it, but you really want it. Uh-uh, not even. Oh. <laughs> How about you, Mr. Internet Slut? Get any action even lately? Even more shit. Oh, well, I had a threesome the other day from Adam. And his name was Cicero. Oh, three? Yeah, he beat you. Yes. Three. <laughs> <laughs> and his friend was Alex. They called themselves Italian studs. Typical. Mm. Italian got lunch. But damn, <laughs> they were <laughs> fat, <laughs> stinky, oh, oh, had no teeth. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. And fat wallets, right? Sounds so like a bad Yes, I was. But, <laughs> I said, boo, you think you're going to get any of this? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not for free. Exactly. <laughs> so I turned my phone on, and I made it ring, and I said I had an emergency and left. Very nice. Oh, and hey, that's yeah. the stuff. Truth be told, I was intimidated when I got there, but I did it anyway. I felt dirty and nasty afterwards. But I wish I had the, the strength to say no. And I felt bad. So, speaking of threesomes, Gambit has a good one. <laughs> it even has a code word. Oh, that's kind of say he. Oh, yeah. me? Yes, you. Wait, what was it? I don't remember. Lip shit. Oh, <laughs> lip shit. Yes, <laughs> lip shit. All right. So my boyfriend and I had a threesome with this guy who is basically our slave. Slave. Oh. Slave. You can do whatever you want with him, <laughs> and he just obeyed. But if things got heated, oh, my boyfriend and I made us this code word saying lip shit, and we just ended it, no questions asked. You know what? We didn't have to use it though, because the sex. What's off the hook? <laughs> All right. True tea, no shade. The irony was the guy's lips really did smell like shit. So I made sure those lips never got anywhere near me. Because I didn't want to get an STD transmitted through feces. What the fuck? I could have got a hepatitis STK. Some shit like that. No pun intended. <laughs> we had it coming. We had it coming. We only have ourselves to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. Pop, six, squish, uh-uh, Cicero. Lips.
All right. I see a donation for Color and Common. Thank you, Jerome Woods, of the Black LGBT Project. Thank you. This goes right where it would be held safely. <laughs> Mama's, do you see the cleavage up in here tonight? Do you see that cleavage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>